Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review of the Falco Mixto 5 Boots. The Falco Mixto Boot Series has been around for a while now and the Mixto 5 is here to replace the Mixto 3 here in the UK. There was a Mixto 4 but it never came to the UK so we've obviously skipped that and gone straight from the 3 to the 5. Either way, these boots are comfy, they're flexible adventure touring boots that have an oiled finish to the upper. In my opinion they focus more on the touring end of that spectrum rather than the adventure end as there's not much solid structure for avoiding the sort of twisting injuries that you risk when you're riding off-road much. If you need something more rigid then Falco have the Aventor boots in their range for that purpose but if what you want is a touring boot for an adventure bike that's doing road work and maybe some light trails then that's where these boots are in their element. The old school simple look of these boots also seems to work well for owners of certain types of classic bike. Okay then, let's get into the details. Like the Mixto 3s, the uppers are still oiled, but it's now oiled microfiber rather than genuine leather. I think you'd really struggle to tell from the feel of the material, I know I did, but Falco's description says they're now microfiber, which is a synthetic leather. There are sections of suede on there too, around the accordion panels at the front. These are there to give the ankle more flexibility, and then you get tougher sections of material that wrap around the heel. There's an accordion panel here as well for flexibility and a light reflective panel, which is exactly the kind of area where that's going to be most effective. There's tough suede-like material on the inside that gives better grip against the bike while hopefully not damaging your paint. And a similar material is now used as the overlay to protect against damage from the gear lever. And that's in place of the rubber-like insert that was on the previous boot. There's also a small patch of that material on the outside of the boot just here by the toes. There's a plastic box that protects your toes from being crushed and D3O inserts either side of the ankle give a bit more coverage there. And then there's this plastic wrap around the shin. We can't call either the wrap for the shin or the ankle inserts protection as such because there's nothing on the label to say they've been tested as part of the CE approval process. The ridge around the top is a padded roll of synthetic leather and I found that comfortable in my time wearing these boots underneath either textile trousers or denim jeans. Now the opening was one of the more popular aspects of the old Mixto 3 and that's remained pretty similar with the Mixto 5. It opens up nice and wide and then it fastens with this Velcro around the top as well as the two click shut clasps. You click the hook on the clasp into one of the grooves, lever it shut and make sure it's clicked firmly home to stop it coming undone. There's plenty of adjustment. You get a range of 40 millimeters on the lower strap and then 75 millimeters on the upper strap. The sole is probably the biggest change on these boots from the previous ones. The old Vibram sole is gone and now it's Falco's own sole. It's still quite well cushioned and it balances deeper tread for traction on loose surfaces with a smoother profile for more comfort and grip on tarmac and also on the bike's pegs. We know it's reinforced with a nylon insert as the boots meet level two of the transverse rigidity test within the CE standard. Inside you get the waterproofing, which comes from a high-tex membrane, and I wore these boots through a reasonable amount of rain, and they kept my feet nice and dry. And they didn't leave my feet sticky on the hot days either, so the breathability of that membrane also works. The footbed for the Mixto 5s is removable, so you can replace it, but it's been built up around the heel with some extra foam, so I'd say it'll be tricky to replace them absolutely like for like. The last bit of info on the inside is the label that shows the CE standard. The Mixto 5s meet the higher level 2 in all four categories of the CE test. So that's the transverse rigidity test I just mentioned, as well as tests for resistance to abrasion, to cuts, and also that it covers enough of the lower leg in terms of height, which these boots clearly do. In terms of sizing, these boots range from 38 to 48, and that's 5 to 13 in British money. I can't comment on all sizes, but I had to drop from my normal size 43 or UK 9 down to a 42 or a UK 8. In terms of colours, Falco make the Mixto 5s in black as well as this brown version, but the UK importers don't bring in the black colour, so we just get the brown ones. As for pricing, the Falco Mixto 5 boots are £280 a pair as we record this. Now that's pretty reasonable, but it's still £30 more than a pair of former adventure boots, which do a similar job, but also have an award from Ride Magazine, which does make them an attractive rival to these boots. There's a link to our review of those former boots popping up on the screen now, and it's also in the description below if you want to have a look at that. These boots, I'd say, are a little slimmer than those formers and also probably more suited to wearing under a wider range of textile trousers and denim jeans. Okay, I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Falco Mixed 05 Adventure Boots, but if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.